Welcome to this tutorial made by Hannah. Um, this is my first tutorial made in English, so bear with me as this is not my first language. I'm trying to do my best to uh, not stop and think about words I can't, uh, I can't recall for the moment. Um, you just have to make do. And this tutorial is about making yourself look like an avatar. And uh, this is not really that hard. What we need to do is start off with an image of ourselves or any person you want to make look like an avatar. And what makes an avatar look like an avatar is not only that his skin is blue, because that would uh, just as much make you look like a smurf. Uh, what we need to do is make those big cat-like eyes. And to do that we're going to start off by taking our background layer and making a copy. We do that by holding Ctrl and pressing J. You can also take the layer and drop it on the new layer button which we may uh, duplicate of it. With the new layer we're going to start up Filter and Liquify. And in Liquify we need to zoom in a bit of course. And then take a fairly big brush. How big depends on the resolution of your image. And brush a few times over each eye. And continue doing this until you reach the right proportions. Now we need those eyes to be fairly big. We don't want it to look like an anime character, but, well, they should be fairly large. Something like that. And when that's done, we need to make the brush a little bit less big and then continue along the ridge of the nose. And if for some reason, if for some reason you feel that this doesn't look good, you can always use the Reconstruct tool to paint over you know, what you have changed and make it back into uh, what originally was there. I think this is probably well, not a hundred percent, but fairly okay. So, once done, just click OK to apply the Changes and there and there it is. The original and the new one. Big cat-like eyes and the flat nose. And now we need to make the skin look blue. And to accomplish this, you could either make a selection of the skin as it is and just uh, make use the adjustment layer on top to make it look blue. Um, but to make a selection is really hard, especially when you have this hair that is really like uh, uh, thin above the ears and so on. And since the hair is pretty much also this reddish nuance, uh, it's hard to make it uh, with your refined edge, which is in other cases a really good tool in C uh, Photoshop CS5. So what I'm going to do is actually make a uh, use duration adjustment layer on top of this. And I'm going to check the colorize box, uh, push it over to blue, uh, decrease the saturation to make it look more natural, uh, more realistic. And I'm also going to lower the lightness a bit, but just a tiny speck. And when that's accomplished, I'm going to fill this uh, mask with black by uh, making black the foreground color. And then with the mask selected, press Alt and Backspace. And now the blue color disappears. And what we're going to do is just to paint it back all over where the skin is. And to do this we need a, uh, a brush set that is uh, round uh, with a uh, size and you can change the size as you go. Hardness it to zero and you should also uh, lower the opacity and flow uh, to make it look more realistic when you pass over these areas where you have hair and so on. And to paint this will take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and continue once all of my skin is covered. We should pretty much have uh, what we're looking for. Uh, now I'm going to mix this a little bit less bright by using another uh, adjustment layer, uh, the brightness contrast one. And I'm going to lower the brightness a bit and, and um, high up the contrast uh, to make this 
look a little bit more realistic. Uh, now with that set up, uh, we're going to focus on the eyes. And to make the eyes look more like a cat, uh, we're going to make a, uh, a duplicate of this layer again. Uh, and just for fun, I'm going to use an alternative uh, way of doing that by releasing it on top of the new layer button. Uh, and the reason I'm making a copy is that I want to make sure that if I mess it up for some reason, I still have the original left. So I'm going to use the dodge tool and paint over the iris a few times to make it brighter. And once that's accomplished, I'm going to use the burn tool alongside the edge to give it a little bit more depth. Much better. Next up, we're going to change the color of the eye. And to do that, uh, we need to make um, a new view saturation adjustment layer. Choose colorize again. Push it over to the more yellowish part. Somewhere here. Increase the lightness and lower the saturation a bit. Now this looks really messed up, but that's because we have um, the color all over. And also it's, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. So we're going to fill this one with black. And then we're going to paint over again, as we did before, with white on top of the mask. Uh, but this time we're going to raise up the hardness a bit to maybe 90% or so. And then just paint over the eye where you want the yellow to be. Now this looks a lot better. And that's my doggy. Hello, Sina. Much better. Now, we don't want the iris or the pupil, I mean. Uh, to be colored. So what we're going to do is actually uh, make a new new pupils uh, with a new layer up above and then just make an elliptic selection and fill it with black. And we'll do this again on top of the other one. Yeah, like that. We're going to make the a little bit less sharp by using the blue Gaussian blur. <laughs> and this doesn't need to be um, very much, but just like the radius should be like a pixel or so. It still looks kind of odd, but that's because we don't have any highlight in them. So what we're going to do is take the brush with a hardness set to 90% uh, and the foreground color set to white. Oh, I forgot. We need to raise the opacity to 100% and the flow to 100%. And then just make like this. There we go. It looks kind of cartoonish, but it's still a lot better than what we had before. Um, so I'm going to try change the color a bit and see if a more saturation helps. I think it does a bit, but we also need to lower the lightness a bit to give it more of a depth. Something like that. And you can always use lower your opacity if you think it's just too, too yellow. Like that. Now that we're done with this, uh, we also need to make um, the face have a little bit more of, um, I don't know if you want to call it depth, but yeah, we're going to use uh, the dodge tool and the burn tool. Uh, first off, we use the dodge tool and we need to load exposure a lot, like 20% and apply to the shadows, I think. And what we want to do with a harness at the zero is to make it look a little bit more flat. 